When three o'clock rolled around, we looked outside to see if anyone had showed up. And sure enough, there were about 20 neighborhood kids waiting in line outside Rowley's basement. Now, I know our flyer said admission was 50 cents, but I could see that we had a chance to make a killing here. So I told the kids that admission was two bucks and the 50 cent thing was just a typo. The first kid to cough up his two bucks was Shane Snella. He paid his money and we let him inside and me and Rowley took our positions in the Hall of Screams. The Hall of Screams was basically a bed with me and Rowley on either side of it. I guess maybe we made the Hall of Screams a little too scary because halfway through, Shane curled up in a ball underneath the bed. We tried to get him to crawl out from under there, but he wouldn't budge. I started thinking about all the money we were losing with this kid clogging up the Hall of Screams, and I knew we had to get him out of there quick. Eventually, Rowley's dad came downstairs. At first, I was happy to see him, because I thought he could help us drag Shane out from under the bed and get our haunted house cranking again. But Rowley's dad wasn't really in a helpful mood. Rowley's dad wanted to know what we were doing and why Shane Snello was curled up under the bed. We told him that the basement was a haunted house and that Shane Snella actually paid for us to do this to him. But Rowley's dad didn't believe us. I admit that if you looked around, it didn't really look like a haunted house. All we had time to put together was the Hall of Screams and the Lake of Blood, which was just Rowley's old baby pool with half a bottle of ketchup in it. I tried to show Rowley's dad our original plan to prove that we really were running a legitimate operation, but he still didn't seem convinced. And to make a long story short, that was the end of our haunted house. The good news is, since Rowley's dad didn't believe us, he didn't make us refund Shane's money. So at least we cleared two bucks today. Sunday. Rowley ended up getting grounded for that whole haunted house mess yesterday. He's not allowed to watch TV for a week, and he's not allowed to have me over at his house during that time. That last part really isn't fair, because that's punishing me, and I didn't even do anything wrong. And now where am I supposed to play my video games? Anyway, I felt kind of bad for Rowley, so tonight I tried to make it up to him. I turned on one of Rowley's favorite TV shows, and I did a play-by-play -play over the phone so he could kind of experience it that way.